Studnik Aquatics here. I bought an RO Buddy RODI system quite a while back. I did do a video on how to set one of these up, and you can get these with just the D, with just the reverse osmosis part on it. What this does is this is your sediment cartridge here. You also have your carbon cartridge and then your reverse osmosis cartridge in here. But you can also buy it with the additional deionization cartridge. Now if I run this without the deionization cartridge, my water comes out of my tap at 8.3 pH. And if I run it without the DI, it comes out at 7.0, which makes it neutral. This actually takes it down to 6.8, which I like this and I use this for... Um, the tank that I'm hoping to get discus in someday. Um, I have a biotope tank also in the fish room that I use this for. So what happens here is you can see through this cartridge and it starts out as a green and then when this resin in here when it changes colors and it starts to turn orange then it's used up. It's, it's, it's taken up all that it's can. You need to replace that resin and we are at that point now you can see there's a little bit of green left but not much so I'm gonna change that out and that's what this video is for. I did do a video on how to set one of these up. Be sure and watch it if you buy them because these fittings here are a little tricky um, they have a double stop system. If you don't realize that, you're going to have leaks. And also, I had some problems with, with water hammer, with it making noises. So that is a little bit of a problem. So anyway, you can buy from Aquatic Life. Obviously, it's made for this unit. This is deionization color changing resin. You can buy in one liter bags. I bought like five liters of it at one time. And this is the resin in here. So basically, all you do is you remove this lid here shut the system off which i do have a shut off on it back behind and go ahead and lift this one out you can then take the thing out you can change it and put it back in so i'm going to do that now and i'll show exactly how i do do that and we'll add more to this in just a little bit okay basically before you do this you want to shut the water source off obviously so that you don't end up having water running through it the whole time and i have done that so then all you do is pop this off of here unscrew this lid on your deionization cartridge be very careful not to cross that or because it's just plastic when you put it back on there we go if you didn't have the water off then you would have a problem right now now you have this little plastic o-ring that you don't want to mess up with. There's your little plastic o-ring. Be sure and keep it even and don't smash it or crimp it or anything like that. I have a bucket in here that I can dump this into. Okay, the resin is now in the bucket. Um, the other things that you end up having on there is you end up having this little sponge and this this little screen. So it's a good idea to rinse those really good and make sure those holes are clear on that on that plastic piece and make sure that the sponge is, is completely clean. So you can do that and then set those aside. So the holes right there, the ones I'm talking about, those are clean, they're not plugged. And then you have this little piece of foam that has also been cleaned out. So I'll set those aside along with my O-ring. And as you can see, there's resin still in here. So what you want to do is get some water in there and rinse it. I have some that's stuck in the bottom, so I might have to break it loose with something in order to get it to Okay, I did get that out of the bottom of this. I did have a little bit of resin on it, but this is the sponge that goes in the bottom. So we want to rinse it off really good, clean it out, and then make sure that this is completely clean in here, and dump that out. Okay, now that all that's been done, you can start putting things back together. The first thing that goes in there is this little sponge. Okay, now it is in there exactly like it was before. So now what we have to do, and you do not rinse this stuff. This is the resin. It comes in a bag. You can buy it one liter at a time. So you fill this thing up to about, oh, three quarters of the way, past three quarters, maybe nine tenths of the way or a little less. Just, just about right in here. 
and then you can put it back together and turn the water on. So I'm going to go ahead and get this resin dumped in here and I'll put the lid back on, slide it in, and then when I turn the water on and get the system going, then you'll realize what's, what's going on here. Okay, now that I have it full of resin, I filled it up to here. Now what you want to do is you want to put the sponge inside of the little plastic piece slide it down in there and then just push the plastic piece until it's flush that's all you have to do you don't have to sink it in there just push it till it's flush don't forget the o-ring if you don't get the o-ring on there it will leak so there is the o-ring I want to rinse that off so that there's no nothing in the way there because otherwise it can have some old resin on it just like that And then we got to get it started. Careful, because it is just plastic, and you could easily tighten it too tight, and you could split and break that plastic, so nice and snug. And once you get there, then you should just be able to pop it back in. Okay, I'll get my resin out of the way. Now all that, or my stuff out of the way. Now all I have to do is turn the water on down below. I'm going to take some water out of my reservoir so that this thing will start running and then we'll see how the water does run in. Okay, this is my reservoir where the RODI goes. It does have a float switch in it and as you can see it's full. I'm going to, and I do have a heater in there to get it up to where it needs to be. And I'm going to start transporting some of this in these buckets into the fish room. I have a reservoir in the closet for that 150 tall. So I'm basically going to pretty much empty this thing and that way this thing will start running as soon as I turn it on and I'll show you you know how that fills back up and we have to make sure we get the air out of it and make sure it's working properly. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we will put the final touches on this video. Okay I do have a shut off right here so I'm going to open it up and now we're running water through it and as you can see since I changed out my resin the water is slowly filling the resin cartridge. It's already been through every other cartridge in there, through the sediment cartridge, the carbon, and the R and reverse osmosis, and now it's doing the deionization cartridge. The reason I got this unit is it's one of the least expensive ones out there that actually does everything it needs to do and does it very well, and it has a small footprint, so it goes into a pretty small area. This is where the foam comes in and keeps this resin that's in that stuff from actually going on through. Now it'll slowly fill the top. But you can take it off and kind of work it up in there. A couple little bubbles left. there. Now I have all the air out of the system and as you can see it is running. 